I love those throwbacks so yeah. much. Can I just say, wow, the Leroy, promo videos they had for that, dude. I got, wow. I got. We have to give a shout out, Leroy. We have to shout out uh, Michael McCullough, the entire marketing department, and the uh, the in game operations department. What they did for this throwback night, first of all, the intro video, Leroy, so good. Yeah. So good. <clears throat> it's like it's a throwback all to the 80s, and they got all the guys in it. You know, they got all these, the, you know, the, the, it was, it was, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll retweet it. Jay Vick can retweet it on 56WQM. The Heat intro video, if you guys weren't there last night, so good. Goosey's galore. It was Goosey's galore, dude. But my favorite, they, they had a couple of bits that I love during the show throwback bits one is story time with vic and so victor oladipo is like narrating story time of like the the old classic heat the first one was on Vashon leonard and i was like oh i love Vashon leonard 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 i it, it was and so vic's like in a library they they only needed to give him like a pipe and a and a, and a robe and a, and, a, and a velvet robe just to tell the story a little bit more but it was it was tremendous well done by them and then the the Gennady Golovkin of them all, Triple G, Goosey's on Goosey's Galore, was Ron's rewind at halftime because it was him talking back to them not winning till their first game until like 16 games in. It was, but but he's like on this giant leather chair and he's just talking about it. He's like, I never thought I'd be on a team that lost that many games in a row. But we stopped the tape. We got it done. It was just, it was so good. So shout out to them. The, uh, the throwback, and they look so good, Leroy. I love those jerseys so much. Yeah. I love them so much. Now, the thing that was ugly about yesterday's game was the crooked referees who didn't give Jimmy Buckets that call at the end of that game. Garbage. Garbage, Leroy. It, it was rather... Uh... When does this guy get the respect he deserves? I see this Lori Marketing, you know, who's been a star for like three seconds, goes to Utah, all of a sudden is good again, and... Now he's like, ah, any little ticky tick. Oh, give Lori Market on the three free throws. He got like six games in a row where he gets fouled on the three. Jimmy Buckets plays man's basketball right in the paint. And th this O'Neal comes in there, flying out of nowhere, does a does a martial arts move on him. Flapa! And Jimmy Butler gets no calls. What is that? What is that, Leroy? Terrible. Bad calls. Uh, like, I don't know. Like, I thought it was a foul right away. I said, ooh, but well, at least he makes one. We go into overtime. That's what I was thinking. And I'm like, no call. No call. There was eight bodies on the ground. Some had to be done. It was ridiculous. Like, yeah, what did the landmine go off? <laughs> you let me know. You and, I, and you know what the worst part is? I'll tell you what the worst part is. As I walked down, because I was boots on the ground. Was I, why, why are you looking at me like that? I was boots on the ground. What? As he walked down, I got to sit there while these these three dopes, they get a police escort back to their little locker room. These three referees, these three dopes. And, and, and look, it's just so smug with their police escorts. Why don't you answer for your crimes? Why aren't they being taken away in handcuffs? How about that? Actively swinging the game. They need to be put in lock up. Lock them up, dude. So Monday court day. Adam Silver was there. How do you watch this, Vince McMahon? How do you watch this? You know what? This theatrics that goes on in your sport. Hmm? Oh me. You okay. said you know what? You know what? <laughs> Let's bring them in. Yes. Let's bring They're them also in. going on trial. Take them to trial. Wow. Oh. Anyone have their number? Any way of reaching? I do. Solid. I saw somebody yesterday take I was uh, I was walking side by side with somebody and uh who is uh who who was close to Jimmy Butler he took a picture. He's like, I'm making note of you guys. <laughs> he didn't have to say it. I knew what he was doing. <laughs> Look at these guys. I need these reviews. And by the way, do me a favor, NBA. Save it with your two minute report today. Just save it. I don't know why people want that. Just so they can say, right? We know. I we can't know wait till it comes down up. so I can punch a hole in the wall. Really? I'm so mad. Oh, now you're mad? Mad, dude. With all the silliness you have come out here with, hmm. how you won't answer for your crimes, now you're mad? Let's hear Eric Spolstra rip the referees without having to get fined. Here he is. He's a master at this. This is a uh, Spo. You got this video, JFig? Mm. 
beautiful. Jimmy just made the absolute right play. I, I think easily in this this game alone, he could have had six to eight more free throw attempts. Um, you know, I think the one where uh, KD actually got hurt, I think he just got raked across his arm on that one. One in the first <coughs> half, he got hit in the head. Uh, it should have been an and one. But that one, I just think, uh, I don't think it was vertical. I don't think he was set. I think it was not the classic A to B, and I don't think he was in position. Now, I'm sure they'll say otherwise, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, but I think, uh, I think um, that earned the right to go to the free throw line and, and see if, uh, you know, we could have could have won the game. Uh, I don't think we could have gotten anything better than than that opportunity. Obviously, right at the rim uh, with Jimmy, um, and I haven't seen the replay on that. Um, it just did not look like it was a, a vertical play uh, where he was waiting for him. I think he rotated O'Neal. And I, I don't know, I, it felt like Kyrie got something in there. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just uh, really unfortunate. We, uh, our, our guys really played well. Uh, he's, he's distraught. Still not getting fined for that, though, NBA. That's just talking about it. That's not ripping you. It's his opinion. I, I, Do not find You him. know, one of the things that I have, I've always had a problem with mm -hmm. in sports is that you have to understand as players, right? You always ask questions about your play, about, you know, being accountable for what you do on the field. But nobody else has to be, right? I mean, that, that, that's some bad call. Yep. That's a, that's a bad call. And the NBA lets it die down. And then they'll go, oh, yeah, and two months ago, that was a bad call. The thing I hate most about it with it, though, is like you have a guy with Jimmy Butler. The dude is a man of honor. He doesn't complain. He doesn't complain ever. Even after the game yesterday, he's like, should have made it, you know? And you have these whiners and these criers like Trey Young and James Harden. And In other words, what you're saying is floppers. Can I, can I just say this? Hmm? And... One of the reasons why you have to be the way those whiners are is because if you're like Jimmy, they just avoid it. It's ridiculous, they though. It, but the squeak, the, the 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 Karens are the ones that get taken care Jason of. Jason Tatum, not the whiner. humble. Everybody wants you to go about your life and just be calm and mellow while they run over you. Luca, right? Whiner, mm -mm. all these guys, and they get calls because of it. This is ridiculous. But that's the world we live in. What what about like? What, do you know what? The squeaky wheel gets the oil. Squeaky wheel. The the person who complains gets the call. The person who's difficult gets the. You know what? Think about this. Does a quiet guy in sports ever get paid? It's always the guy who calls no. out the team. It's always the guy who calls out. This is the world we live in. Yet we sit here and applaud the guy that doesn't complain or whatever. Yeah, look at, while uh, everybody who complains and bitches and moans, they get what they want. Lamar Jackson, no contract. Kyler Murray contract. Right. Think about that. All he had to do is delete his think, Instagram. Think about that. But that's that's the reality of it. If you don't make a stink, they will run over you. And and shame on Baltimore because they don't have a guy who does that. And now he's had, he has he's got to do it. So like think about this. Is it safe to say Lamar Jackson is a better quarterback than Kyler Murray? Come on, I'm just saying. Just, just, just deal work. Yes, right. Kyler Murray deletes Twitter, his his team on Twitter, and they pay him a hundred plus million, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Um, Lamar Jackson has been humble. He's been quiet. He says, "I'm gonna do it on the field." And the Baltimore Ravens have treated him like he said nothing and it doesn't matter. So why wouldn't players do that? Why wouldn't a, a guy, why wouldn't you be Kyle Lowry on the basketball court when you know these bums ain't going to call, make a call if, you, if you're if you a gentleman? Kyle, Kyle Lowry does complain. He does. I mean, he is, he gives he the rest does. of it. Every time, it don't even have to be a basketball play against him. He gets He's out. over there with his hands up. I think Kyle Lowry needs to be jimmy butler's mouthpiece yes he needs to step up yes in, in the wrestling business but, when you had a guy like brock lesnar who wasn't good on the mic you give him a manager who can talk him up 
Kyle Lowry needs to start taking Jimmy Butler's cases. But but the, but you don't like this. People don't think this is a problem because guess what? If you go into a store and you have an issue and you're very calm, they will not pay any attention to you. But go in there bringing some heat and be loud and be a Karen. And they'll have five managers over there to help you out right away. Guess what? <clears throat> Perfect example. Hmm? JFig, how'd your AT&T experience go? You tried to be reasonable. You tried to, and I went in hot on Twitter and, and attacked them. And uh -oh. guess what? I got a response right away. Like, nobody wants to hear this, okay? But if you took care of business without having people have to be jackasses, there would be no need for it. You can honestly say, calm down. But you know what? You want people to calm down so you don't have to deal with them, so you can ignore them and look at everything. Look at sports. Does the quiet coach ever get taken care of? No. They blow by him like he's insignificant. Mm -hmm. But the coach they know to get after him and don't care and will call them out, guess what? Immediate response. I, I didn't ask for this way of the world. That's the way it is. And if it's not, somebody proved me wrong. Somebody proved me. When you've had an issue somewhere and you've gone in or you've called and you've asked for a, a, a reply, depending on how that message is left, depends on when you get a reply. Answer for your crimes, NBA refs. And AT&T. And Hour two are coming up next. Previously on Tobin and Leroy. NBA, do not find me.